Hey, yo, what's up? You know what it is. It's the one and the only Pastor L live in the synagogue. I'd like to welcome you guys back to another installment of Triple the Guy Speaks on. Come on in. Leave your money for the building fund. Come on, take a seat, my children, because I got to show you how these L's were delivered and indeed deliver you my sheep from these L's. Come on in. Come on in, everybody. Leave your money for the building fund. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Common Rider X8, episode number 44, The Last Mile. I bring you this sermon here today, my sheep, with a heavy heart. Given what this episode did, and given what it will be part of the final episode, it was a roller coaster. A lot of ups, a lot of downs, and we're going to get to all of that. I'm going to take care of you and deliver you as I always do. Go shut the door back down. But yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to perk myself up because I just got through with the episode, and the episode brought me down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And, but I know I had to, you know, come at it the way I did and come at it the best way I can because good media should do that. Good media should make you feel. And this episode gave me a bit of the feels, and we'll talk about that. But let's get let's get to the let's get to the subject at hand. Now. We li- we begin this episode right where we left off. More and more people are being turned into Buxton via everybody who's infected with the Buxton virus. And it's like, this is what this is what Time Lord Dad wanted. Riots, New Ferguson, Buxton's in the streets infesting each other. It is insane and it is nuts. Time Lord Dad and his boss form not to be, you know, not to be outdone is a hey, I'm going to go infect some more people and go be a final boss. But, you know, just as it is in most, you know, in most final boss forms is that it's time for the zombie rematch. Boss fights, you know what I'm saying? So, we got some old foes. We got Salty, Armbrough, Revolt, and Cod in their back, you know what I'm saying? Just to spoil it for you, at some point, they all get wiped out with no sweat at all. You know what I'm saying? But, that, but that's like, that's a real actual video game reference. I'm like... I think a couple, I think I referenced Chrono Trigger, like, you know, because of what that boss does in, in his final form that it's different than that because I'm trying to, because it's like, there are bosses in game, because I was like, I was on the Mega Man tip with the zombie, with the zombie, with the zombie boss fight rematches, which might be a more better metaphor than trying to, you know, I want to play some Chrono Trigger, and I've been meaning to play Chrono Trigger because not only do I have a game in progress but another game where I'm trying to build up Isla so you know there's another thing with that entirely but when we actually you know get to playing some more um some more one of the best games of all time we'll get to that I'm like meanwhile while all this crazy stuff is happening Tiger trying to try Tiger trying to get the money out of here Tiger like I gotta get this money out of here I got to protect the dough to bread you know what I'm saying? But when she run, Bucks just, but people infested with the Bucks the virus show up. It ain't nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Time Lord Dash say, get him. And that's exactly what happened. The squad gets overrun. You know what I'm saying? Like the squad get overrun. I'm like, yo, we got to handle this business, put in this work. You know what I'm saying? We got to do what it is that we got to do. Meanwhile, with more of these, because a lot, because I will say this before we continue, a lot of what this episode was, there were just like a whole bunch of dynamics in play, and given, even though that the focus should be very linear, I appreciate that the episode had these little moments that we're about to get into right now. We got Parrot though, and we got Ms. Poppy over here in the corner, because they watched the end of the last fight, and they sitting up here like Parrot, like, yo, we gotta put in this work, we gotta help save the people, that's what we are here for, right? And then Poppy looking all sad and she sits up her and say, well, there's only some things that we as Bucksters can do. We can't do that, but there is something we can do. And Poppy runs off. Parrot chasing after her, of course, because he don't want his people to do something stupid. You know what I'm saying? We, we do what they do, but... You know what, because, again, like I said, this episode got my head in the world, and it's like, it's hard to think because of the emotional ring of this episode brought me through. It's hard to think, but 
I'm going to try my best not to spoil things before they happen. I will try my best because I want to get to this stuff because I really want to discuss it. So back to the story. Meanwhile, asshole man, he putting in the work. He putting in work. Work, work. Busters destroyed. Getting all the, getting all the folks away from him and all that. As he's trying to trying to help save the people from getting infected, Bacchus old bike man in his bucks the virus form shows up. He said with a whole bunch hit him with a whole bunch of crushing knees like we playing Dev Jam fight from New York or something. Just knees, 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 knees. And he's trying to get him off him like, yo, yo, fam, calm down. And do that. Tiger doing whatever he can to protect that daughter money. Like, I need that international money, baby. But, you know, we can play some League of Legends. And it's like, you know, even though they're Tiger trying to protect the Dota money, Nico want and Nico, and I don't want to say a strange turn of events because I think that her being hemmed up with the Gimme Dance virus a couple episodes really changed her, really changed her trajectory. And then these following episodes, even though it hasn't been as highlighted because she is not a main character for real, for real, is that I'm starting to see a change in her. And this, in this scene, that is really evidence that see she wants to help the people. And while she's sitting up here trying to help the people, those folks she was kicking it with that. That they was with a couple of episodes ago, they've been turned, and this is up her, and she becomes legitimately shook, legitimately shook, so much so that she loses her concentration, almost gets hemmed up for real, and almost gets turned. But you know, Tiger, like I gotta say this though, the money, so he saved her and gets out of there. So you know what I'm saying? We we even go over to Karo, Lord Lord Chin Kamiguru Lord Karoto Don and he's sitting up her yo he give her in the throat back he in the all black like the he in the all black E W O I don't know why I just made a new world order reference but you know hey we just gonna roll with it he sits up her rolls up and um and and the Kamen Rider Gimfit sitting up her sitting up her hitting hitting busters with drop kicks however his heroic feats. Are interrupted by Common Rider build, and I'm like, um, what now? Now, because the thing is, because here's my understanding of what I limitedly know. This isn't Common Rider's builds first interaction with X8 and the people of X8 because. Because it is because the movies are always what they are. He makes he makes his first cameo appearance in there. But it, it's good to see they still keeping up with the cameo appearances. I do wonder though. I do wonder is it is episode forty five even given what it's going to be as the finale? Or are they gonna to try to find a way to fit build in there? I'm that's just things that I'm wondering. But he straight shows up, rabbit tank like yo. It's time to put in work and. He get he gets up in he gets up in the cool all up in the cool Oh shit, Kami Guru local Don and he's sitting up here like yo I I ain't all I can do sits up here shakes that shakes that gorilla bottle flips it shakes the diamond bottle flips it best match sits up here cook 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 the work and become gorilla mod as well so it's like. The first time I've interacted and seen that form in anything general period, because the only thing I've seen, because I haven't watched the trailer to build yet, and I think I might do it for like a little mini project before the after we get done with everything XA. I think about sitting down doing some like a little live look viewing of the trailer because I've only seen like bits and pieces of it, but I know there's like a full length trailer which introduces the world and everything, so we might have to do that. Common Rider build got up in that culo, as I said, and Gorilla Mon sitting up here like, like Hiroto trying to hit him, hit him with the arm, um, hit, hit him with the arm, um, the gotcha con breaker. No, mm-mm, no damage being dealt, no, 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 just sitting up here trying to hit him and nothing is happening, and I'm just like, they in the old show putting over the new show and the character and the toy that are related to the build bottles or whatever. Hey, full bottles, amazing things and stuff like that. Coming right up, Bill continues to get up in that culo, and then Corona loses a life to him, and I'm just like, what? Well, like it makes sense 
in the instance where it makes sense because you want to make sure that you are having an accurate display of Kamen Rider Bill's abilities. So if he beats the crap out of Corona, makes him lose a life, hey, what you gonna do, really? Blah, 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 whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, once, once Kamen Rider Bill finished, finished sitting up here getting in that cool Corona Don hops out his work pipe. Excuse me. Excuse me. I am coming right again. Me, coming right again. That's me. I am I am not the X8 writer you are looking for. Be welcome to Hey yo, my bad cuz. Hey Um if you see that fool X8, tell him I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to, you know, um get some of his essence. And, oh, by the way, Kamen Rider build is like to put stuff together. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, like just in case you was confused or anything, like, I put things together to make and form them. I'm like, I like this guy. I do. I'm like, I, I, I really think that we got a good rider on our hands. I really think that Sento... Is a good rider. I can get behind him. I really can. I can get it. I can get behind Sento. I really think I can. The question is going to be is if they're going to be a show to back him up. Because see, I remember the last time I saw a rider, even within the own realm of his own show, and thought he was going to be that trueness. That character. Was Soma Harita. I don't need to say any more than that. And I won't. And I won't. But I'm saying I like what I see. Sento Kiryu. I like this guy. This dude a beast. He a beast though. He a beast though. I, I can get behind this dude. Real talk. I can get behind this guy. For real. I really, really can. And I know we've talked a whole lot about... Mr. Sento Kiryu, but I'm like, I really want to take a moment and be like, the show has done these things in the past, and even though of the canon and non-canonicity of things, it'll be interesting to see if the last episode has has Sento getting whatever it is he needs to get from Mr. L. You really have to wonder that and really wonder. It's not going to play into anything until probably his first movie. Like, whatever, because it's like, because we, we just got true ending. So, I'm guessing this is going to be for that, um, that farewell, um, that farewell he say movie. So, you know, we'll see about that. Enough about... Common Rider build because we have a whole season to talk about him because if you thought I was done, you're dead wrong. Just letting you know. Anyway, back to our story. We got Mr. L sitting up here running his fingers through his golden dreadlocks sitting up here trying to figure out what it is he going to do. He pulls out Dr. Mighty Double X like I have the cure but how can I use it? Poppy appears out of nowhere, takes the gash at, and runs away with it. Mr. L, he's just sitting there, and he's very confused about what his gab just did. Like, I just had that, then my gab just came up and just said, swoop, not saying a word, just in the purse. Hi, Emu, bye, Emu, and just leave. And I'm just like, I sense bad. I'm like, it was at that point, that in my head, I kind of figured out where this was going to go. But the following scene is going to submit all of this home. Going to submit all of this home. Poppy makes her way back up to the usual roof where Parrot is up there waiting, where Mr. L follows. And she sits up her and explains her plan. I am going to take Dr. Mighty Double X. I'm going to stick it in me, and then I'm going to cure all the people. Is everybody okay with this? No, I don't think we are okay with this. No. Mm-mm. I no. No. I'm just... But it's what I... No. No, 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 no. That's what she said. Like, I'm going to insert this in me. 
But then they sit up here and say, if you do that, you're going to kill yourself. And I'm like, she sits up here and gets this opportunity to explain what her reasoning is for wanting to do this. She sits up here and says something along the lines of that the Bucksters and the humans can't coexist like she thought because of what's happening to them. Because of her interactions with them and her interactions more with Emma and the squad at the CR, she understands that making this sacrifice to cure them is the right thing to do. Is that we have to die so that all of you can live and continue to interact with us in a way because without without you there is no me. And Emu sits up here and makes his last desperate plea like, what are you doing? Please Please think about this. Don't don't think so rationally. There is another way. You fam, I love you. We all love you. We all care about you. Please, there has to be another way. She sits up here and just explains to him that this is what has to be done. And then... Poppy sacrifices herself. That, that that got me. I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo. Usually I, I, I have this little syndrome near the end of the series where you where those where those dramatic moments come and the tears roll. This was one of them. This was nuts. I'm like you kind of knew, like, this is where I was going. And it's like, and I kind of knew as soon as she took the gash out from Emu, like, this is what they were going to do. In, in, a, in something that's going to be very, very, very important for the rest of this review is I appreciate how they did and why for the sake of story that you have to. That's going to come up a couple of more times. But, yo, that hit me hard, dog. I'm like, I know that I've I've said some dumb stuff, you know what I'm saying, for the sake of comedy. You know what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to Ryan Bomber with really good family. You know, like, yo, we we had our time with Deep Voice L give a poppy. They got the pop the candle on Toka Mickey crashes. And all that. Poppy is a great character. She, at the beginning, was always like our eyes and ears to this world that we're watching. And they slowly faded back on that while Emu stepped up more and more to get their shine. But I don't feel like in other shows where you have the homies, Poppy was utilized in a way that I look at it now. That... They did exactly what they needed Poppy to do. And she was a great character that was a guide to this world. And she had some wonderful and great character moments. Especially at when Kamen Rider Chronicle got started. She really got a chance to shine in. Because it got a chance to show a different side of the character. It was the voice of Deep Voice L Giver Poppy. And we all love her. Y'all love us some deep voice. They'll give a poppy, and they gave and it gave her and it gave her a chance to be a more dynamic character. And heroic sacrifices, when done great, with the narrative to push the how and why and the emotional connect you have with the character when they do the thing you don't want them to do, this was executed perfectly. I don't know what like this means for the character. Given that we got one more episode, you can pull anything out your hat. Anything you want out your hat. So maybe Poppy comes back. I don't know, but I don't know what else you want me to say. Like, like watching her stick that gas hat into her chest. That brought me way down, dude. I'm like. Again, like following up that after she did it was everybody was cured thanks to her sacrifice. And then she had a final opportunity to say goodbye to her friend sitting up here just leaving those special notes like, yo, 
Hero, stop eating all them sweets. Yo, Bakazo Bike Man, hey, you know, don't lie all the time. In more or less terms, she t she told both Tiger and Nico to love and take care of each other without saying exactly that. And 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 what I thought was a great character moment was Kuroto taking it the hardest. Kuroto being his normal dumb self, I am da 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 da, -da whatever. They gave him that was perfect for him for him to understand it, yo. You know where you came from, why you here, you are my creation, and all that back and forth. But they gave a chance for Kuroto to have some humanity, and I appreciated that. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, Emu got a chance to sit up here and remember his journey with his friend, and it's like. But the thing is, is that what's done is indeed done. There's still a fight to be won. And we got to do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Oh, boy. I apologize, y'all. Like, for real. Like, yo, that was an emotional moment. And then re-going through it for this review and trying to just go through it. Like, yo, it just brought me back down again, dude. I'm like, yo, that was hurtful. I'm like, while I feel that it brought, like, this review down to, like, a mellow tone because I, I didn't want, you know what I'm saying? Because I know what I usually do. But because of my current mood, what this episode put me in, that's just me keeping it 100 with y'all, you know? So... I don't know what else you want me to say. Poppy will be missed. He was a great and wonderful character. I've grown to love and care about this character. And that's what you want your shows to do. To make you love and care about the characters you watch. And to feel emotional impact when good and bad things happen to him. And this is a really bad thing. So, it is what it is. Let the hop back into the story though. Is that Time Lord Dad is like... Y'all done done this? Rainbows and candy canes and all this? Mm-mm. No, no, no. Time Lord Dad, not for this fun, Holmes. I am going to deliver upon you these elves. See, all I've been doing this whole time, Time Lord Dad, the greatest, putting in work. Ever since I've been putting in work since you, since before you knew I existed. I've been putting in this work behind the scene before they introduce me for real player. All I do on time, Lord Dad, all I do is put in work. I put Gim Corp on top. I did this. I made you. And now I'm going to unmake you. Common Writer Chronicle. Now I'll destroy all of creation. And rebuild it in my image. Show me what you have, and I'll show you true fear. <laughs> and Tom Lord Dad turns into you know Shin Kami Lord Tom Lord Dad Beast Wars Megatron Super Final Form. I'm gonna deliver these L's upon you for him. That's what he do. Embu on the roof and Perry looking at him like, yo, it's time to do this work, man. Squad needs you, fam. Go do what it do. Embu leaves, and go, but Parrot doesn't go with him, which is weird. I'll explain that in a moment. We zip back down there. The squad getting these hells handled. Time Lord Dad cannot be stopped. He got all the resolve. He just sat up here and did what he going to do. Work, 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 work. Set up her blast man, man, and they up here getting whooped. Bacchus old bike man sitting up here, man. What we going to do, man? They stripped, man. We lose. What we going to do, Time Lord Dad? Whooping eyes. What we going to do? And we'll come through like. Hold up. He pulls out the Mighty Action X gash hat. They like, fool, what is you doing? Like, you you got like infinity for 
forms and all this, and you want to right now pull out my action X, and you want to do this, though? For real? I'm like, I know his gal just died, but this fool that lost his mind or something? Mighty Action X! Headshot! Mr. Game, what's the game? Dude? What's the game? Dude? What's the game? I'm a common rider. Throwback. When the last time we didn't see like level one in the show? I can't even remember. But Emu turns into level one, and Emu put in his work, and they sitting up here questioning Emu while he's sitting up here going at Time Lord Dad in his, in his super boss form at level one. And then they realize something, and then the show makes you remember, just in case you forgot, I didn't, but just in case for the sake of review, remember, the level one form is to separate the infected from the buckster that's affecting them, and then you turn into level two to finish the job. So even through all of this, Emu is trying to separate Time Lord Dad from Gimma Dave, so for whatever reason. So that's what they do. So Emu's just jumping and kicking and then once the squad figures this out, they all do a group hinge and go level one and they go put in this work too. And then they put in their work for a minute and then Time Lord Dad is you level one get on my nerves, pimp smack you, and then they all fall on the grill and what we gonna do now? Emu sitting up here like, yo, we gotta find a way to hold him down so that we can like, you know, do something to this dude. As soon as he say that, Parado shows up in that perfect knock you out form because this puppet knock you out. You know I had to pull that one out. You know what I'm saying? I had to pull that one out. It was seen that Parado has is currently using the doctor, the mighty doc, the doctor mighty double S dash that it always gets me in the head, and he's using it to hold to hold. Final boss, Time Lord, that's Chin Kami Guru, Chupa King, Kamehameha, um, Beast Boys, Megatron, form, whatever the hell I call it. So that they can lay still. So he didn't, he, so he's sitting up here affecting with the virus. The squad come in and it's like, yo, if y'all gonna do something, do it now. Group rider kick. They sit up here. Mighty blah 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 right I kick off an issue and they go flying over there and they kick him. That's what happens, dog. They kick him really hard. And they do it. All it took was perfect knock out to use the to use the body, the doctor body double S gas shag, give himself the Gimma Dad vaccine, put it into Time Lord Dad Super Mega King Command Mail form, so the homies in level one form can ride a kick and then do the work. I am going to say this because I do not forget to say this because I will end this video and forget to say this. I appreciate this whole sequence because it gave, it gave them an opportunity to Include the level one forms and be what it is that finishes it off. Because again, they didn't, even though that it is the you know the rule of common rider and Sentai to a degree, we will things out at will. We do what we have to do at will when it serves our purpose to sell a toy. That's something that I get and understand. And and every now and then, and most and most reviews that I've done of this show and of common rider and super Sentai is that I don't forget that as much. As great shows come from what is legitimately a toy commercial, when they do something not for the sake of toy, but for the sake of story, for for the sake of whatever things are that they wield out level ones, and they let them and they let that be what defeated the Super King final boss to bring the, to bring everything full circle. The poppy sacrifice of remembering in the first episode. That's how you separate. The infected from the buckster infected them and all that. And I have to say, that was super, super, super amazing. And I appreciate that, that the show did that. I appreciate it. 
So they all laid out all this stuff. The day has been saved. But they sitting up here like, yo, what's going on with you, boy? Give him dance over there, cuz. It's time for Perry to make his old heroic sacrifice. And I'm just like, now at this point, I'm sitting up here like, I have to say this. Since Perrin is about to exit stage left, is I appreciate, I appreciate his character arc. Is that when you were, when the show first came on, it wasn't that I didn't think much of Perrin. Is that all because, again, if you go back and go listen to, like, the old installments of this, the different theories that I had is that I always thought that Parrot was going to, because I thought the show was going to be under a tiered villain structure. And it kind of was that, a little bit. But he grew as a character, grew into the role that he was meant to play, and they even found the way to redeem the character. That's really, 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 really hard to do. But they did it though. They redeemed the character. They made his heroic sacrifice worth something. Because we have been through up and down with her. They have given this character everything that they wanted, needed. I guarantee you they're going to find a way to give him his own little special little movie. Just like they do with all the other secondary writers. They're they going to find something else to do with your boy Parrot. I'm like... He was a he was a super great he was a super great side villain a super great foil a super great it's my turn to be the boss thing everything they stuck parrot in it worked for the character always that until we found out like his contrast with Emma and where he really came from and all that it didn't really change my overall thought process of the character is that he was a good character he's a good character. And a good show. Even though I should be saying that. I don't want to sit up here and say. That Parrot is like the best character in the show. I don't want to say that. But he gave us a lot of moments. A lot of good moments. A lot of moments. Like yo. Y'all remember that episode. Where I screamed for 10 minutes straight. Deeply involved in that. Deliver these L's. Like I was I was bad happy. When he became Lord God of the show. Because it wasn't on some, you deserve it, type of stuff. No, it was, yo, they sitting up here and they are fully utilizing this character. When he came out and had, um, and he had Knockout Fighter and Perfect Puzzle, they sat up here and did everything they could to make this character count. And everything he did counted for something. Even his heroic sacrifice. So... I got to sit up here and I got to legitimately straight up say, for real, for real, they put in this work with the boy. And I appreciate that, Seth. So, Perry, thank you. Thank you for being, let me say this for real and how I'm going to end it, a great character and a great show. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, back to our story. Now... Parado makes his heroic sacrifice and says, Emu, thank you for giving me all the games, man. You were great competition. You were a great friend, blah, 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 blah. Emu runs over like, I want to I wanna give you a high five and pound it one more time. Do the secret handshake. Before Emu can get over there, he disappeared. And Time Lord Dad being Time Lord Dad ruins the moment. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up, internet? You know what it is, your boy, Time Lord Dad, in the building. Good news for everybody. You all about to take a L. You all about to take a L. You wonder why you about to take an L. Because Perry just killed himself. So now I can put you all in L time. So now you about to take a L. Get ready for L time. Get ready for these L's. Because y'all about to take an L. Because I am Time Lord Dad. Because I am Time Lord Dad. I'm Time. I'm Lord Dad, so let me remind you what's about to happen. You all about to take an L, and let me remind, remind you why. No more da 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 da. No more da 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 for you. So y'all about to take an L straight from Time Lord Dad. You about to take an L, L time. We call it pause. You about to take an L, Time Lord Dad, back on top. I want to thank y'all. Time Lord Dad, baby. 
finna deliver these L's. Now, Carmen Ryder Chronicle. It looks like you've experienced a bit of bad end. Let's begin your final trial. <laughs> And that, my wonderful, my wonderful sheep, is Kamen Rider X8, episode number 44, The Last Mile. Yo, this final episode gonna be dumb. This final episode gonna be dumb. I don't even wanna even get on the end of this and speculate. I'm just gonna sit here, I'm gonna wait patiently, and I'm gonna watch this episode, and I'm gonna review this episode. And we're going to get ready for some Kamen Rider Bill. How about that, y'all? Um, given what things are right now, it's some other things that I want to watch. But I ha- I need to put these things in some kind of, you know, place. So I need to just do a little research about those things. Figure out what they place are and what would be and how would be the best way to review them. So. Just expect more work from me as the, as the weekend goes on. How about that? So, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get up out of here. Look, I'd like to thank you guys for joining the one and the only. Your boy, Pastor L, live in the synagogue. Just want to say, thank you, Poppy. Thank you, Parrot. We are Buck Star. We are Buck Star. And I'm going to stop this. I'm going to stop this. For real. Look, y'all know what it is. The one in the alley, the triple, the G O D. Your boy, AKA Pastor L, live in the New York world. Where y'all at? The Seven God. Make sure to leave that money in the building fund so we can build this church so I can continue to deliver you from these apps. Deliver you from these L's and show you how these L's get delivered. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for another installment of Triple the God Speaks on it. With that being said, what's the final stage? <laughs>